Hello there, welcome to another free Sage tutorial video. This is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Thank you so much for being here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the aged debt, how to view aged debt on Sage 50 Cloud and Sage 50 accounts. If you're using Sage Instant accounts, which is old software, the process is the same also. So when it comes to aged debt on Sage, you have a couple of options, a couple of main options. If we go to customers, we have an aged debt icon up here. We can also run an aged debtors report. If we go to reports and go to aged debtors, there's a number of aged debtors reports that we can run. The most useful one is probably aged debtors detailed, which is here age debtors detailed there's also age debtors summary which is this one the difference between the two is the summary will just show the customers and the overall balance they owe the detailed obviously provides more details it doesn't just show the balance they owe it shows every invoice what that balance is accumulated of so it show every invoice let's just demonstrate this by so preview this age debtors report so we have the customer and we have the invoices they owe under the customer's name. So this customer, one, two, three, has five invoices on their account. We run the same report, but an aged debtors summary. Obviously, it's just a summary of all the customers, their credit limit, etc., and the balance on their account. So that's the aged debtors reports. If you're not interested in running a report, if you don't need a report, either an electronic copy or a hard copy to print off, then you can use this age debt option. It does exactly the same thing, but it brings it up instantly on Sage and you can have a quick review of the balances. So we have Bob's building supplies just here and their balance is 4309.77. If I double click on Bob's building supplies, it will give you that breakdown. So in age debt, you have the summary, which is this page, and then the detailed is by double clicking. So if you double click on one of the accounts, it will break down what the customer owes, what's on their account. So the age debt provides both of these reports, but on screen. There's also debt analysis, which I'll cover in another video. If you're interested in knowing what your customers owe and how old those invoices are, what invoices they owe, that's how you do it, by running an aged debtors report or an aged debt. Now, sometimes you might run a report on Sage, such as an aged debtors report. Let's do the detailed. And what will happen is you'll just have one customer appear. That's fine if you just want that one customer appear. The reason why Bob's building supplies has appeared is because that is what is highlighted here. So whatever you highlight on Sage, I'm holding control down now to highlight multiple accounts. Whatever is highlighted is going to appear in the age debtors report. So if we now run it, you'll see that those seven accounts are the ones now showing. To stop this happening, just click clear on Sage. That will clear any accounts that are highlighted, then run the report again, and then everything should show. So there we go. So if you want all the accounts to show, just make sure nothing is highlighted. If I highlight some more and run the age debt, You'll see the same principle works with the age debt feature. So if you want all the accounts to show in the age debt, then you need to ensure that nothing is highlighted or that everything is highlighted. It doesn't matter either way. If they're all highlighted or unhighlighted, they will all appear on the report. If you're only interested to know what the A's and B's owe the business, just highlight them by holding control and clicking on them to highlight them and then running whatever report it is. Hopefully this helps. 
I have lots of other free videos. I can teach you everything about Sage all for free. No cost involved, no sign up, no registration involved. Just head over to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Click on free stuff. Scroll down to Sage, learn Sage. And on this page, there's all sorts of courses and videos that will teach you how to use Sage. And like I said, there's no charge whatsoever. Please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment below and I'll speak to you in another video.